Okay, here's example number nine in our series of how to use the integration by parts to integrate integrals that otherwise would be fairly difficult to integrate. Now here's something that's kind of unusual. We have an x here times the natural log of x plus one, and that will typically cause problems. We're first gonna to have to make some sort of substitution. So I recommend that you say let, hmm, let's call it z equal to x plus one. So if z is, x is equal to x plus 1, and then we're going to replace x plus 1 by z, then we have to also replace this here. So when we solve this for x, we can then say that x is equal to z minus 1. And then if we take the differential of that, we can then say that dx is equal to dz. Let's substitute those things into our integral. So this now becomes the integral of, instead of x, we're going to write z minus 1. The natural log of x plus 1, which is the natural log of z, and instead of dx, we're going to write dz, and we're going to integrate this instead. Now notice we can multiply this and this times this, and this then ends up into two integrals, the integral of z times the natural log of z minus the natural log of z, and uh, that would be, oh, I forgot my dz, can't do that, cannot, we cannot integrate without the differentials, so minus the integral of the natural log of z dz. Now notice we learned the trick on how to integrate this, and then we also learned how to integrate that. So we're going to do those separately. All right, so let's, um, hmm, well, let's do it together. We're going to let u equal for the first integral, so I'm going to call that u1. I'm going to let that equal to the natural log of z. And dv, we're going to call z dz, so dv1 is going to be equal to uh, z dz, and if we differentiate this, we get du1 is equal to 1 over z dz, and v1, is the integral of that, would be equal to z squared over 2, plus, of course, the constant integration. All right, so that would be the, the things that we need to integrate the first integral, and then we have to do the same over here, and so let's say, let's call u2 equal to the natural log of z. And dv is simply going to be dx, or no, no, dz, not dx, so dz. And that would be dv2. And so du2 is going to be equal to 1 over z dz. And v2 is simply going to be z. So now we can substitute all that into here. So this is equal to u times v. Uh, so that would be u1 and v1, that would be the natural log of z, times z squared over 2, minus the integral of v du, which would be z squared over 2, times du, which is equal to 1 over z dz. All right, and now simply you can then cancel that out, and the 1 half can come outside the integral sign. And then it's minus the integral of this, and of course now we have to use the method of substitution for that portion as well. It's going to be again u times z minus v du. We're going to use these right here, so it's going to be u2, which is the natural log of z, times v2, which is z, minus the integral of v, which is z, times du, which is 1 over z dz. Like so. And now we're ready to integrate because we can integrate this and we can integrate this. Remember that this disappears, this is simply the integral of dz, and here this is simply the integral of 1 half z. I'm going to clean it up a little bit so it looks a little cleaner. So this is equal to the natural log of z times z squared over 2 minus the integral of, oh, let me pull the 1 half out, and that would be z times dz, and that would be minus the natural log of z times z, minus the integral of dz. All right, now, this is equal to the natural log of z times z squared over 2 minus 1 half times z squared over 2. Applying this to this, it becomes, okay, let's see, minus, yeah, minus the natural log of z. Uh, that doesn't look very good. It doesn't look like a natural log symbol. So the natural log of z times z, and then the minus times the minus becomes plus, and the integral of z is dz is z, and of course don't forget the constant of integration. 
Well, we're not quite done yet because our problem was in terms of x and our solution is in terms of z, so we have to substitute back in. And to make things simpler, let's see here, we have um, a z, we could factor out a z everywhere, so this can be written as z times the natural log of z times z over 2. So, um, then minus 1 quarter z, and then minus the natural log of z, and then plus 1, and then plus a constant of integration, and end bracket right there. So now we're ready to go ahead and substitute what z is equal to, which is x plus 1. So this is equal to the quantity x plus 1 times the natural log of z, which is the natural log of x plus 1, times z over 2. So that would be the quantity x plus 1 over 2. And then we have the minus 1 quarter z, so minus 1 quarter x plus 1. And then we have the natural log of z minus the natural log of x plus 1. And finally we have plus 1 at the end, close bracket, and then plus a constant of integration. So we don't forget to go back and have your solution expressed in terms of your original variable x that we started with. And that's how you do that problem.